All right, got the aquaponic system up and running, finally. Today, after a few days of uh, putting it together, I was kind of busy, so I didn't get a whole lot of time to put it together here, but uh, finally got it up and running at least. So here it is, put these uh, barn wood side panels on it. It's all integrated system into the, the 300 here. I uh, have a bunch of golden pothos and also some neon pothos, pretty cool. And then uh, one little bonsai plant right here. So the uh, water, I'll go back and start over here. The water flows in from my ultraviolet sterilizer here and comes across this pipe and it kind of snakes around up in the back to this flower or uh, planter, flower planter, whatever you want to call it. Kind of left it open on the side here with some shelving so I can put some fish food and whatever else I want to put there. But here it is basically. It comes up the side here and it runs right here. Got a decent little flow there, just about where it should be. I got a bunch of these clay aquaponics pebbles. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put some more in there. And then uh, from there, I'll show you on the inside of the tank again. It uh, flows down here through this 90 degree elbow to another 90 degree elbow. It's anchored into the side of the stand right there, across and then down into a filter sock. I don't know if I'll keep this filter sock here or not. It's a 100 micron filter sock, so it's basically gonna grab anything and everything. I just started it up. You can already see it's catching a bunch of junk and whatever, kind of just uh, powder from the uh, the new clay balls there. So anyways, um, that's my new aquaponics system. I'm gonna be tweaking it a little bit. It's just have uh, all the trim now to put on it but that's not really important for the video. I'm um, just gonna put on some trim down here and on the edges here to clean it up, make it look nice. And uh, we'll be done with it. So there's my aquaponics system. I'm gonna be testing the water for the next few weeks to see how it affects the nitrates. I'm gonna be doing uh, less water changes. I'll probably do one water change every two weeks to see how it goes. Right now I'm doing one water change a week so I'm gonna cut it back just to see how effective this is gonna be here hopefully it'll do its job here and uh, and uh, it'll work out a couple other projects coming up I'm going to be building a completely automatic uh, water change system on the tank so uh, I just have to figure out how I'm gonna set it up and build it so stay tuned that'll probably be the next project on the on the uh, list for this week and uh, i'll post videos as i can if you have any comments please uh go ahead and make them any suggestions always uh, happy to listen and also if you guys want to see anything in particular or have any suggestions please uh please ask